This is left 29. My wow. name is Jonathan. Wow. Woo! Wow. And uh, <laughs> today's lecturer um, comes all the way from La Palma, mm. California. Mm. She battled the rain mm. and mm. battled all the clowns wow. that. Uh, and no, no clowns were hurt in making this. this Darn. Oh. <laughs> but uh, they're still not allowed. She, yeah. is, she is also known for her. Um, uh, role in freedom fashion. Mm. She what? puts no clowns in in freedom and fashion, <laughs> which is a human trafficking uh, nonprofit organization. Wait, it's not a human trafficking. Oh, nonprofit. Anti. Sorry. Yeah. Anti. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Fail. That was right. that was clown trash. And so and so here we have Bonnie Kim. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bonnie Kim and today my lecture is going to be on No Clown Trash Allowed. Um, it's an introduction to the wor word and its relevance into modern societal behavior. Uh, let us start. Uh, let's have a quick overview of what we're going to uh, discuss upon. So, while... <laughs> well, uh, it, it, to some of you, it might be a little overwhelming, and I know it's like then the first day of, of the semester, but uh, I assure you that if you just you know stick with me here and you just uh, focus and not just kind of doze off, I know sometimes it can be boring, these kind of classes, but I assure you the more effort you put in, the more results you'll get. Um, so let's have a quick overview. First off, we're going to go through the history and definition of the word clown trash to uh, we're going to have a clown trash quiz. I know, oh. first day, but I have to gauge how fast you guys are learners, you know. If I don't put you guys into practice, all of this is just nonsense knowledge that you're not going to use. So I'm sorry, I just have to do that. Thirdly, uh, recognition of, oh no, not, that's not it. Third, clown trash psychology. And fourth, what is not clown trash then? Since we know what it is, what is not? So. Let's go through this. First one, history and definition of the word clown trash. <laughs> <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Break it down. Okay. First, clowns. Clowns are comical performers. They are stereotypically characterized by their grotesque, grotesque appearances, colored wigs. Stylistic makeup, outlandish costumes, usually large footwear, uh, red nose, and they entertain spectators by acting in a hilarious fashion, just like that guy. Uh, so I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have, you know, met clowns, ran, ran into clowns at birthday parties, circuses, not scary farm, yada, yada, yada. All right, moving on. Next word, trash. Um, very uh, self-explanatory, unwanted or undesired waste material. And, um, okay, now, clown trash, let's put those two words together. Clown, which you saw firstly, right, with, you know, uh, these types of characters with a lot of outlandish, you know, characteristics, makeup, and then put the second word, trash, make it into a compound word, clown trash. <laughs> now what you have are three definitions. Uh, that are defining what clown trash is. First, it's comical yet unwanted. For instance, you know that joke? Uh, let me tell you a joke. So, <laughs> so it was really raining, and then, um, then it, I, I was slipping around, and um, yeah. And then the audience goes, what? <laughs> oh, that was a clown trash joke. It, it was. It, it was comical only because it was like ridiculous. It's not comical because it's funny, but they're laughing at you. Mm. So it's unwanted kind of comedy. It happened by like chance or stupidity and it was funny in that way. Secondly, no effort in becoming successful. So let's say you were outside, you want to take a picture of your girlfriend or your friends and in the back you saw a crime scene happening. And it just happened to be in that photo. Someone else saw that you had a camera, and they said, hey, um, their, their news reporter, hey, um, did you see that happening? And then you say, yeah, here's a photo for, of it. Suddenly, you become this superstar photographer. Everybody wants your autograph. You have photo sessions of how to be a criminal photographer. 
like be in the right place at the right time and you become a superstar because of it. That is clown trash. Why? Because you, you didn't, there was no effort in becoming success, successful. You just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, and thirdly, pretentious. And that's pretentious. You know what that means. Hopefully you know what that means. Uh, it just means you try to be something you're not. You're trying too hard to be successful. So moving on. Why this topic is chosen for laughs? Um, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. So, um, is so sad right now that he's not here. So, um, why this topic? Oh no. Um, firstly, email thread. In the series of uh, emails that were going on with some of you guys maybe not on that thread, what had happened was originally I had a different topic um, focusing on fashion and anyway. And then this email thread arose where people just kept going back and forth about how much I shouldn't be prejudiced against clowns <laughs> or how they themselves felt like they were clowns and how can you know someone like me like have a presentation where I'm just hating on clowns with a name like no clown trash at gmail.com <laughs> so it did it, it was conflicting because i didn't know what to do because i want to make a stance that i do not allow clown trash <laughs> yet if there's people in the crowd that feels like they can relate to clown trash mm -hmm. I, I mean i'm sorry but it's just the way it is and you're here and i i assume that all of you guys aren't clown trash because you are here um Anyway, not to say that Jez is clown trash because he's not here. <laughs> and there was no secret email going on between him and I for him not to come here. Just kidding. Okay, number two, uh, drama between ex-boyfriend story. So before I made that email address, I went through a three-year period of um, a guy who wasn't my boyfriend at that time. It's not him. Um, but he was one, he became one of my ex-boyfriends, but before he became a boyfriend, uh, he did a lot of, what is it, like, clown trash? very clown trashy stuff, very like, <laughs> you know, a lot of like uh, mind games, mind games here and there, and they're like texting me song lyrics, and it's talking about like how much, he misses me or whatever of a song and then I would call him out like hey that song is from like Azure Ray and it blah 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 it means this what did you mean by that oh it's just a song it's a cool song I like that is obvious what are you doing so after three years of that kind of nonsense I, I just said you know what this is my identity I will not allow clown trash in my life and that if he ever emails me, which is funny because we ended up dating after, later on, like a year after. I know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He was contrast. However, when we reconciled he went through one hour of asking for forgiveness for being clown trash so part of me part of me not being a clown trashy person is that just because i don't like clown trash and somebody comes and say, says i'm sorry for being clown trash because i'm not clown trash of course i have a heart of forgiveness and of compassion you know I mean, or else I'll just be clown trash. I'll be some like devil clown trash that's so just like, no, you know, everybody in the world, you mess up, I'll never forgive you and be some bitter old lady. And I'm not like that. Okay, so, so I need to- Did he use the words, forgive me for being clown trash? No, he, he went through one hour of every single thing that he did wrong. So I just, in, in my mind, everything, oh, okay, clown trash, okay, done. Okay, for, you're forgiven. And then I decide to give him a chance. So. Anyways, that was my justification for dating a clown trash. <laughs> okay, moving on. So now we are on the, now that you kind of understand the three, <laughs> oh my gosh, the three parts, right? Number one, comical yet unwanted. Two, no effort in becoming successful. And three, pretentious. Let's see how sharp your clown trash radar is. 
Dun, 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 dun. Clown trash quiz. Can you guess who falls under as being clown trash? Yes. Paris Hilton. Clown trash. Is she or is she not clown trash? Why don't you right now just talk amongst yourself with uh, 10 seconds or so? Try to. She's beautiful. She's savvy. She's a lot of money. She's clearly not clown. We're all going with not clown trash. She's earned her place in this world. Okay. Well, I got some mixed. For no effort. Oh my gosh. She's clown trash. Okay. She All right, Paris Hilton. <laughs> That's hot. She probably Paris Hilton is famous for being famous. The great grandfather, uh, daughter of Conrad Hilton, who was the founder of the Hilton Hotel Fortune, she gained fame for her sex tape. She started her fame with a porn video, and it was posted on the internet in 2003. Uh, she was starred in the reality series Simple Life, um, and from then on, she just became like a Hollywood socialite that everybody looked up to and thought was super hot. Now, is she or is she not clown trash? She seems pretty successful. You know, she's very popular. I'm sorry, she is clown trash. <laughs> Why? Because no effort in being success to be become successful. She didn't do anything except, I guess she created a porn video, that's some effort, but uh, a my gauge of clown trash or not clown trash. No, it's, it's not enough. And she needs to like go help like people in the world or do something. Put that on your resume. No, yeah, no, she's clown trash. Okay, moving on. Dun, 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 dun. William Hug. <laughs> Why is it just like John Travolta? <laughs> I mean, look at all the girls that he has, you know. He, okay, he went to UC Berkeley. He's at UC Berkeley. He's apparently in intelligent because he's going to UC Berkeley where he graduated from. Um, he, he, you know, he was on American Idol. He has been on several television. He was on Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, he has his own CD out. Wow, he is, he was, oh, I don't know about now, but he was popping back then. So you guys tell me, um, is he, or is he not clown trash? I think that girl behind him trash. is definitely. Yeah, with the big hair. <laughs> what the? <laughs> is that a man? No. <laughs> is it a bat? Oh my a bat I think the there's wall. a bat on the wall behind her. <laughs> it looks like a <laughs> Okay. Clown trash. Clown trash. Oh. Why? Because reason one, he was comical yet unwanted. Happened by chance. Okay, moving on. Oh. Tyra Banks. She has her own show. She is sort of mentored by Oprah, I would say. Uh, she, is, she has her own America's Next Top Model host. I mean, she... She's beautiful. She's superstar, supermodel. What do you guys think? No, definition three. Mm -hmm. all the way. Definition three. Definition oh, three. Right. Clown trash. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> trying too hard to be Oprah. Trying too hard. Trying too hard. Okay, let me show you guys something. All right, in nineteen, uh, in not nineteen, two thousand seven, tabloids came out with Tyra Banks, uh, calling her pork chops. What else was it? America's Next Top Waddle. It was pretty bad, actually. And this is what she looked like. Um, and she went on TV ranting and raving on her show, saying, you know what? Like, screw you guys. You know, I embrace my curves. I love how I look. You know, who do you, who do you think you are to say this kind of stuff about me? You can kiss my fat ass. And that's what she did. She took the camera. She went like this. But why? Oh. Let me tell you why I think she's still clown trash. Because if this link. works, this <laughs> link is. Oops. Yeah! 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 Hold on. It's not clown trash. No, not yeah. I must. I do I do I Oh, boy. <laughs>